Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, July 30th, 2017. Welcome to Morning Hair. And look, Morning Hair. You know, we don't often get a uh, sociologist Morning Hair, but this morning we do. It's a classic, Robert K. Merton. Now, you may not know who Robert K. Merton was, but he invented the phrase self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay? Now, let me give you an example of a self-fulfilling prophecy because it's important in our daily lives, but also important to educators like me. In a self-fulfilling prophecy, you start with a false definition of a situation. Now, the behavior of people based upon this false idea recreates the situation in such a way that the false definition becomes true. Now, as a teacher, this means it's the beginning of the school year. Uh, don't ask, don't look, don't tell. Don't ask former teachers how a certain student behaved. Don't, uh, don't tell teachers of former students how they behaved because this creates a false narrative. It creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. If someone tells me, ah, oh, this kid's horrible, he never does his homework, he never does anything, he's a terrible student, it might become a self-fulfilling prophecy because already my beliefs are influenced by something that they have told me, which may or may not be true. Um, so, now in American politics, here's where it gets interesting. Uh, you create a false narrative, like something like, uh, hey, America isn't great anymore. Hmm. Then you spread that false, nar false narrative through Fox, Breitbart, Infowars, Pravda. Then you elect a reality TV star as President of the United States. Guess what? The false narrative has become true. America is not great anymore. But let's start a new false narrative. Hey, let's start a false narrative that benefits me, okay? Because there are two possibilities for uh, morning here. Either one, they are the, the genius insight into a white southern male who's 62 years old in, 19, in 2017, who holds the power, political power, is held in the hands of black mind. And we won't let go because it's precious to us. It's precious to us. Precious to us. Or, or this is just a ridiculous uh, thing that a guy has done to prove a point to his son. So we're going to start a false narrative. Have you guys seen uh, Morning Hair now has 3 million viewers? Did you know that the Morning Hair on the Thomas K. Merton was the most watched video of 2017? Did you know that George Clooney said that Hope Day, someday he hopes he's as good looking as that morning hair guy? <laughs> that, see, we start, start that false narrative and eventually become true, I hope, especially the George Clooney part. But that's it for morning hair today. Spread the word, spread the rumor. Morning hair, morning hair, morning hair, morning hair. That's it, my battery's low. I gotta go. Bye.